And hi again, everyone, and welcome to another night of Georgia Bulldogs basketball tonight from Stegman Coliseum in Athens as 16 and 12 Georgia entertains 18 and 11 Texas A&M. Both teams are 7 and 9 in SEC play. Tonight's contest is the final home game of the regular season for the Bulldogs and senior night as Georgia will recognize three seniors before the game this evening. Uh, it's a brotherhood around here. We I ended up growing so close with even the freshmen over just one year, you know, those are some of my best friends now too. And we've only known each other for such a short time, but it was more of that little brother role. And so I just tried to make sure I played that role to the best ability I could and it ended up becoming a brother. It's going to be bittersweet. I mean, it's definitely going to be sad because, you know, it's my last time in Stegman. But it's going to be, you know, happy at the same time because it's the end of a chapter. It's a chapter I'm proud of. It's something I think I succeeded in and excelled in. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. DirecTV gives you more for your thing. Your top rated thing. That five stars, two thumbs up, 12 out of 10 would recommend thing. Because if you only want the best thing, you get the number one thing. DirecTV is rated number one in customer satisfaction over cable. Switch now and get a $200 reward card. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV. for this chance to show the passion that I had while I was a gymnast at Georgia, but now I get to have that passion as a head coach. Georgia is not just about your gymnastics. It's not just about that, but it's building you as a person for life. Georgia Gymnastics will win championships again. Go dogs. I wonder if Mike's got it. Hey man, you got it? Of course I got it. Good job, man. Coach, you got it? I'm all over it, man. About time. Hey, Jack, did you get it? Heck yeah, I got that thing. That thing is absolutely incredible, and we need to use it all the time. Awesome. I know you can do it. I think anyone can figure this out. goal is to win every game you know we gotta start with Texas A&M hopefully we get a win and then we move on to Tennessee and that's the type of momentum we want to build you want to go go into tournament definitely with some positive you know emotions their front line is is tremendous and they're big and they're good and they're the, you know they have the top two rebounders in the league you know we got our work cut out for us uh, because uh, this, their group is certainly much bigger than ours and uh, we'll have to play very intelligently well, the great thing is is we enter the last week of the season with a lot to play for and um, and now we have to, you know, seize the moment. Um, I think that that um, there's a lot of there's a lot of basketball to be played, uh, and they're all important games. Uh, but we we still have important games, which is a, which is what you want. And uh, hopefully our guys will be ready for the challenge. 
Hi again, everyone, and welcome to another night of Georgia Bulldogs basketball tonight from Stegman Coliseum in Athens as 16 and 12 Georgia entertains 18 and 11 Texas A&M. Both teams are 7 and 9 in SEC play. Tonight's contest is the final home game of the regular season for the Bulldogs and senior night as Georgia will recognize three seniors before the game this evening. Junior college transfer and second year Bulldogs forward Pop Jada, fifth year man already with two degrees from UGA, guard Jawan Parker, and one of the most productive players to ever walk under the arch at the University of Georgia, the school's second all-time leading scorer, fifth all-time leading rebounder, third all-time shot blocker, and he's not finished yet, fourth year senior forward Yante Mate. And a and will control the tap, and we are underway at Stegman Coliseum. Aggies with the first possession. Her pump fake for a three, steps in for a two, and knocks down the 16-footer right of the leg. Veteran move by Jawan Parker. Yate lays it in on the left side of the iron and got fouled as well. Jump hook with a left hand, good off the window. Make for three on senior night. Claxton juggles it a little bit, but controls it enough to lay it up. Deep three on the catch. Good! Tyree for three! Look at the big man hit the soft jumper for two. Wow! Jump hook on the putback is good. One against three. He's going to pull up for the two. Knock it down! Torian for a three. Oh. Good! Wow! Oh, with only his third three of the year. Fakes drives with the left hand. Oh, shot blocked by Claxton as he went to the rim. It bounces out of bounds in the right corner. The student section certainly like that. Oh, mishandles the dribble, loses it. Parker picks it up, and the time expires. Yeah, and we've, we've dug ourselves a hole here. Nine points down uh, to a very talented basketball team. In the lane, jumper good from 13 feet. Hightower left alone for a second, top of the key, made a pay with a three. Maiden, one dribble, power dribble, long three, straight away good. Curls under the basket, shot block. Got back to him, Thomas hit it up and in. Hightower with a beautiful thread the needle, bounce feed, two on Bene on the left block, and he turns and lays it up and in. Dribble drive to the basket, oh, he put it up behind his back and off the glass, good. Good, straight away three, Tyree with a little shimmy and a little shake. Drive to the basket, layup, good. Dog straight away, three, good. Tyree for three more. <laughs> that's, that's, that's shimmy. He'll shoot it and dream it from the left wing. Deep NBA three on the left side of the floor. Rebound, Maiden. Dog's got to push it up. We're down one with nine seconds to go. Hightower spins away at half court to Parker on the right edge. Jawan in a double team, forced up the shot. Ball knocked in the air, it was an air ball. A&M gathers it in and runs out the clock. The game is over. Texas A&M has won it 61 to 60. Um, very, very difficult loss and, and uh, certainly I was proud of how uh, our team competed in the second half and uh, credit to A&M, they, they have a talented team. It was a hard fought game. Inside Georgia basketball is brought to you by AT&T. Heck yeah, I got that thing. That thing is absolutely incredible and we need to use it all the time. Awesome. I know you can do it. I think anyone can figure this out. Stephanie Paul in the lane for five feet. He scores and Georgia wins. A thrilling finish. Three head of the key. She got it. 
Turn fade, it's good at the buzzer. I'm so thankful and grateful for this chance to show the passion that I had while I was a gymnast at Georgia, but now I get to have that passion as a head coach. Georgia is not just about your gymnastics. It's not just about that, but it's building you as a person for life. Georgia Gymnastics will win championships again. Go dogs. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. It went by really fast. Um, I remember just the other day I was getting taught all of our plays and Nimi and Marcus were helping me and just really just trying to get a whole feel for the University of Georgia, like how it's going to, you know, function from day to day, going from class to class. And now I'm teaching others the, what they taught me. And so it's just a tradition and a legacy that's passed from one player to the next. It's, it's really zoomed by. Everybody tells me, you know, college is the fastest and most fun time of your life, and it, it's definitely true. You come in as a kid and you leave a man. Like, I have two degrees, I have a fiance. Like, I'm essentially set for life, man. Like, you, know, you just got to build upon it, but they provide such a great foundation. It's super special. It's the fact that, you know, like, all my life is going to be like. This is where I, you know, went to school. This is where I started. He's a really terrific young man. Um, you know, Pop obviously um, coming from halfway around the world and um, really soft-spoken, but but uh, always a team first. You know, kind of, kind of young man, and then Jawan, who's who's been um, through so much adversity with with the two surgeries on his Achilles, but has been such a stable player uh, when he's been able to stay in the lineup, and and uh, obviously he's had a terrific senior year. And then Yante uh, has statistically been as good as any player in the history of the school, and uh, but along with that, it's probably been a better young man. So really, been a great group of, of young people. I don't really even have words to describe it just because uh, I, I feel like I put so much time and effort into trying to be the best player I could be here at Georgia Day. You know, I'm trying to be the best leader, the best player that I can physically be and try to bring everything I can. It's going to be bittersweet. I mean, it's definitely going to be sad because, you know, it's my last time in Stegman. But it's going to be you know, happy at the same time because it's the end of a chapter. It's a chapter I'm proud of. It's something I think I succeeded in and excelled in. Well, the the journey uh, that these people take on our campus, from from young adults to really grown men ready to impact the world, that's a that's an unbelievable trip to take with somebody. And senior night is really a night to recognize that experience. Uh, it's very emotional for their families, for the kids, for their teammates. And then hopefully these guys will get, you know, get, you know, get a chance to feel the love from our fans because they've been great kids and, and really good players. You know, the game of basketball is is universal and it, it, it definitely brings people together. I remember hearing about that when I was a kid, but I didn't really know the like the meaning of it, but I made so many relationships just through basketball and it really has helped me, you know, become the man who I am. The camaraderie, you know, all my teammates, they almost like brothers. That's probably what I will miss. 
but outside of playing, just you know, hanging out with the guys and having that bond, you know, it's a big deal. I'm really gonna miss my friends, I think, the most. Uh, it's a brotherhood around here. We, I ended up growing so close with even the freshmen over just one year. You know, those are some of my best friends now too. I'm, I'm blessed to be around such brothers. You know. Stephanie Paul in the lane for five feet. He scores and Georgia wins. A thrilling finish. Three head of the key. She got it. Her fate it's good at the buzzer. Everyone has a thing. That binge watch over the weekend thing. More checking in or checking out thing. No, 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 no. That triple double thing. Doing it yourself, attacking a print thing. More revolutions in the making thing. That play like a girl thing. <laughs> that four legged friends thing. AT&T gives you more for your thing. More entertainment, internet, and unlimited plans. More for your thing. Yeah, that's our thing. A long way from 79 to 82. <laughs> well, it definitely would enhance it greatly because you know, you know, kids love to come to a beautiful arena and and have the ability to say, hey, you know, I played here. You know, this is somewhere that they they can be proud of, and that's what universities do. That's what it's supposed to be—a place where you come to be proud to play. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. Growing up, I can remember my consciousness about Georgia basketball. Uh, it was, I guess, peaked when they made a run to the Sweet 16. And I was probably 14, 15 years old. Uh, since that moment, I was starting to um, pay closer attention to Georgia and realize one day I want to go, I may have an opportunity. Well, if I ever have the opportunity to go to my state school, I would I like to go there. Ironically enough, my brother and I, we were only getting recruited by three teams together uh, Mercer University, uh, Jacksonville State, and Western Carolina University. So we chose Western Carolina University on the strength of a relationship. Well, when God closes one door, he opens another one. Uh, after that season, our coaches were relieved, broke our hearts, broke our hearts. But soon after, we decided to transfer, and my brother, I already knew we were going to come back to the state of Georgia when University of Georgia called. And I think it was the greatest decision, the greatest opportunity that we've had. Well, number one for me, more than anything, is home. And and my brother and I was, Jarvis and I was talking about this the other day, being able to be at a university and play high level basketball and your family can cherish and share in that event with you, share in that um, experience with you, that's something I would absolutely take for the rest of my life and that is huge to me, that is huge. Our family loves Georgia so much that we made, it, we made a Georgia Bulldog song that we would get around our you know, dinner table and we'd just have fun just singing that song. No, well, I have to have my, I have to have my family with me. So it, it, only, it, won't, it won't sound good as a solo. It has to be, a, has to be a, a, us as a group. No, 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 what? Georgia Bulldog, Georgia, Georgia, Georgia Bulldog. All stuff like that. And this goes all on and on and on and on and on. Jonas is probably the most vibrant, liveliest uh, personality on the team. He's just a, always a bright personality. 
Well, he's by far the most positive coach, and he has a great personality. He's always smiling, even after a loss. So he, you won't find him sulking or complaining at all. He's always positive, and he, he knows how to get on you when, when it needs to be. Yeah, you always try to create an experience, create an atmosphere where they are enjoying learning and being successful all at the same time. Now, that does not mean you won't have any choice words for them, uh, but there's a lot of power in a positive tongue. Believe it or not, there's a lot of power in a positive thought. Whatever you think you are, whatever you believe, and that's what you really believe in your heart, that's what it will be. And even with him, of course, you know everybody goes through their trials and tribulations, but but he'll never he'll, he'll never show it. You know he's he's been through so much. You know this past year, uh, the, the, the previous year, and you know he's gone through his his fair share. But you'll 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 never see or never notice it because he, he keeps that that amazing spirit going and still smiles and and is still showing love. I try to keep that mindset to have a culture, an atmosphere, followed by Coach Fox, uh, following Coach Fox, and just uh, create an atmosphere where our guys will be learning and having uh, great experiences. Well, when I when I first came came in as a freshman, you know, it was it was we we I had I had, you know deer in the headlights. I had so much to learn then, and uh, I, of course I still do. But uh, you know, Jonas made it you know his personal personal mission. And, to, to really put me on those wings, so to speak, and, and show me everything that he possibly could. Well, after my four years of our daily interaction with our guys are over, uh, they'll forget some of the things I've told them, they'll forget some of the things I've done for them or to them, but they won't ever forget how I made them feel. And so that's in keeping with the creating the atmosphere where our guys can enjoy the process of getting better. Because every day it won't be, you won't be having sunshines and milk and cream, you know, peaches in the sky. You know, you're going to have some adversity, but if you can keep your eye on the thought of getting yourself, making each day your masterpiece, take one day at a time, uh, I think that kind of shrinks the focus on just each day and um, worry about those experiences and stay positive. Direct TV gives you more for your thing, your top rated thing. That five stars, two thumbs up, 12 out of 10 would recommend thing. Because if you only want the best thing, you get the number one thing. Direct TV is rated number one in customer satisfaction over cable. Switch now and get a $200 reward card. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1 800 Direct TV. A long way from 79 to 82. <laughs> well, it definitely would enhance it greatly because you know, you know, kids love to come to a beautiful arena and and have the ability to say, hey, you know, I played here. You know, this is somewhere that they they can be proud of, and that's what universities do. That's what it's supposed to be—a place where you come to be proud to play. so thankful and grateful for this chance to show the passion that I had while I was a gymnast at Georgia, but now I get to have that passion as a head coach. Georgia is not just about your gymnastics. It's not just about that, but it's building you as a person for life. Georgia Gymnastics will win championships again. Go dogs. It's what gets us up early and sets us into motion every single day. It's commitment, and it starts with just showing up. Mornings in the gym, nights in the lab, and all day, every day. It's why we fight a little harder, aim a little higher, and reach a little further. Because with every solution, every realization, and every time we commit to perfection, we find greatness. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. 
they have a chance to tie for the league championship and this has always been a very tough place to play so that that's the that's the the the, the, uh, the extra challenges that they they have a lot of motivation here but so do we and and um, you know it's hard to play on the road in this league as, as everybody knows the league is so deep this year um, that anything can happen on any given night you just have to play complete basketball and play well at both ends and and uh, hopefully our guys will do that Hi again, everyone, and welcome to another night of Georgia Bulldogs basketball tonight from Thompson Bowling Arena in Knoxville, Tennessee. A sold-out crowd of more than 16,000 will be in the building tonight for this SEC regular season finale between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Tennessee Volunteers. Listen, dogs have still have a lot to play for because, you know, until they tell you you can't play in the big dance, you need to keep trying to get into the big dance. And that means winning the next game in front of you, which today happens to be Tennessee. Tennessee wins the tap. We are underway at Thompson Bowling Arena in Knoxville. Ogbede at the elbow. Hammond's open for the jumper. Left side, good. They give him a three. They may have to check it. And the dogs extend the lead. Nine to five. Nine straight now for the dogs. Schofield with a screen, three ball, good. Five straight for the Volunteers. They'd gone almost five minutes without a point. But now the dog's in a bit of a drought. 13-13, Georgia with the ball. Parker left all alone, straight away three, good! Turtle attacks, kick out, Hammonds, set shot, three, good! The left-hander from Norcross made him pay. Six straight for the dogs. And he curls around into the lane, shoots the two, straight away, good! Jackson dribbles on the wing to the baseline. Floater rattles in there, good. Dribbles up the wing behind the screen, reverses to Yante. He whips it across on the left side. They move it quickly. Crump's open for a three, good! On the right wing, Tyree for three. Crump's got it, gonna shoot. Three ball, right side, good, over a double team. The lead grows to 11 for Georgia. Okay, two to shoot, deep straight away, three. Oh, no good, off the end, and that's the end of the half. And Georgia will go into the locker room with a 42-34 lead over number 16, Tennessee. Quite a half of the dogs. It's on him, jab step. Schofield runs inside, tries to draw a foul, loses the ball, picks it up at the free throw line, turns and shoots and knocks it down. Tennessee only five down now, though, with the ball. They're going to have to get Yante some help down inside and start denying those passes underneath. Drives left behind it, looks at the three, hesitates, drives inside, puts it up with the right hand, missed it. The follow, we got the follow with Big Claxton. Williams, oh, rejection, Claxton, spin move layup, and Big Clax just swatted it away. Tennessee, three deep, left side, good. High ball game, Lamonte Turner, NBA range of the three. The turtle, pump fake, inside, no look, dish and a dunk! Clax with a dunk! Kick out for a three, Lamonte Turner, rattles in there, good. And Tennessee leads. Dribbles through the legs, crossover, here comes a three for the tie, no good, too far, rebound Tennessee. That's the ball game, and Tennessee has won it over Georgia. They score the last nine of the game and win it 66 to 61. What a fight. It was a very hard fought game. I thought both teams really competed uh, intensely. Uh, we, we felt like it would be a very intense, hard fought game. Um, they had a lot to play for, but I thought our, our team did too, and they, we certainly competed with, with that in mind. Well, it's a new season, you know, and obviously um, we haven't had as good of a league season as we had hoped, um, and uh, we'll have to regroup. Hopefully we can get hot in St. Louis.